Alright, hello! Welcome back to my guides on the Kingdom Hearts 3 data fights, all set to critical mode. Really quickly, I'm going to be switching up the format on these videos where I do a more in-depth guide at the beginning of the video, showing off all the moves and how to counter them. I will then show off my no damage run of that particular boss. So in this case today, we're covering Terranort. If you just want to see the no damage run right now, I'd skip ahead to this time mark right here. This new format should let me be a bit more thorough in covering like every aspect of the fight that you might encounter in it. So if you're here for the guide, thanks for sticking around. Here we go, this is how you beat him. Terranort will always start off the battle with one of three moves and he will cycle through all three of them in his first three turns. In this case, it's going to be his shot block from Birth by Sleep. Now all these projectiles that he shoots at you can be reflected right back at him. The best way i found to deal with this is to block the entirety of the first volley he sends at you, roll forward block the second volley that he throws at you, and then as soon as he sends his third volley, and you block the first one of those, air step to him and start your combo on him. The reason I say that you should take a roll towards him between the first and second volleys is because the first projectiles that you will reflect at him from his third volley may not reach him in time unless you hit that roll and he'll teleport away from your air step and potentially body you. Uh, so it's good to have that roll to kind of close the distance and ensure that your counterattack is going to actually hit. Be aware that after your combos, if you hit his revenge value, he will bring out the guardian to counterattack you. If you're on the ground, you're going to have to roll away from the attack that he throws at you. And if he's in the air, you can either block the attack or air dodge away from it. Next move we'll cover are his three sets of flurry slashes. The important thing to note is that the first slash of each one of these sets is unblockable. Best way to deal with it is to wait for the third unblockable slash to come out and then block all the slashes that come after and reprise on the very last one. This will give you an opening to counter attack. This next move is the easiest to counter in the entire fight. He will dash at you five different times dealing massive damage, but the best way to do this is to just jump up in the air, block an attack, and counter immediately. The fourth move that he will always throw out as his fourth move is when he sends the Guardian to do his bidding. Keep in mind that all of these attacks can be blocked or dodged except for the one where the Guardian spikes the ground and these huge shards start flying up from it. Uh, that one can only be dodged, otherwise block or dodge away from these attacks and try and stay close to Terranort because you'll have an opportunity to hit him as soon as the attack is over. During the desperation move, there's two different beams that you'll have to deal with. One that are sent by the Guardian, and ones that are kind of operating uh, in the spiral formation. Best way I've found to deal with this is to move counterclockwise. That way you'll never get surprised by a beam that's coming from behind you. And as for dealing with the Guardian, try and position yourself where the beams aren't in order to deal with his attacks. So if you see that the beams are on the outside of the circle, come into the inside, that's where the Guardian's likely to come off and you'll just dodge his attack easily and vice versa. If the beams are on the inside, come out to the outside of the area and then dodge the Guardian's attacks that way. The other part of this is that as soon as the Terranord finishes saying shadows, roll away to avoid the Guardian's massive AoE spike. When Terranord has about five and a half bars of health left, he's gonna replace his flurry attack with a much stronger version. Nearly all of these slashes are going to be unblockable, so you're going to want to dodge through most of them, making sure that you have a good timing down on when you need to time each one of these rolls, otherwise the end lag from one of the rolls can leave you susceptible to one of his slashes. There is one slash in here that you can block. If you block it, you will get a reprisal, but I found the timing to be extraordinarily difficult to get it, especially because all of the slashes surrounding it are unblockable. What I found instead works for me is to go into a form change that has a hitbox during the dodges. This hits him out of his final slash and lets you get a counter attack on him. Another attack that he changes up is going to be the ones where he dashes at you. This time he can dash at you once and land and then immediately go into one of those flurry attacks where the first hit is unblockable. Again, it's easy to, if you anticipate this, it's easy to block his incoming dash attack and reprise him immediately from there. If you miss that opportunity, no big deal. Just dodge that first unblockable slash, block all subsequent attacks after that, and reprise on the last one to start a combo of your own. If you let him get to a second desperation move, he'll throw in another element here where on occasion he'll come out and shoot some dark follies at you. These are blockable. 
The same general rules apply here. Try and be where the spiraling beams aren't, and that's going to leave you some room and not make you feel as claustrophobic or pressured to uh, get like absolute timing down on blocking these attacks. Otherwise, it's the same desperation move from before. Keep your cool, you're going to be fine. That's going to do it for the guide. Right now I'm going to show off the no damage run, but before I do, I'm going to just quickly plug the channel. If you like what you see, consider leaving a like, obviously. And if you really liked what you see, consider subscribing. Uh, I should have my next battle out pretty soon here. I think people were requesting Larkasine, so that looks like who we're tackling next. Let me know if you like the new format also, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace. Shadows! Yeah.